What is up, you guys? This is D1 of the Brony here, and I am about to get started on Talk About Clingy, the 17th episode of Season 4 of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Now, uh, what to expect? Well, the title alone just says Talk About Clingy, so somebody being clingy, I guess. And, uh, hmm. Okay, I, I guess I can tell you guys this. Um, Will said... Will has been telling me about the episodes. I can't. I can't deny that he's always been saying some things. He said this is one of these episodes that I may like or I may hate. So I don't know if this is like a worldwide thing. And when I say worldwide, I think you know half these people say this and half these people say that. He just said he didn't like it very well. So I don't know. Maybe I'm the that guy who likes it because I I, I tell you the truth, I like the worst and stuff like that. So we could find out uh, about this episode. So, talk about clingy. Let's get started. In... Three, two, one, now. We decide, Alpha Bloom, we'll be here for you. Totally. Even though it could change everything for you. Forever and ever! You failed your science tests. And now we must decide your punishment. Together as a family. So? You failed. We here have decided <laughs> that you're old enough to stay home alone and take care of the chores yourself for the afternoon. <gasps> okay. 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 Cool. I accept your decision. Apple professionalism bloom. My little pony, my Sweetie little professionalism pony. bell. And scooter professionalism bloom. Alright, so this is gonna be an episode where uh, Apple bloom and probably the whole entire CMC have to take care of the house. Alright. I can, I can get into that. Be interesting. Um, having Apple Blue have, literally have a. That's what I'm talking about. Hi. <laughs> Didn't get that before. All right. So they're going out home alone for pies. Probably a delivery. Some pony to watch over me. I can't believe I'm really okay. doing it. Now, hey there, Philly. I know you're excited, but being the only pony here to take care of the day's chores is a big responsibility. I know it. And it means everything to me that y'all think I'm grown up enough to handle it. I won't That's good. You down. So well, this is literally Apple Bloom's coming of age. Like, to prove her age. Says a pony's got to arrive by a certain time, you better be there. You be sure and take care now, Apple Bloom. No. Y'all take care as well. I don't know which of your delivery routes is tougher. You're each headed to a mighty hard to reach town. Mm. Yep. They all seem we know, Granny. the same, the only, only one's going left and one's going right. Behind alone. It is? And one's blue and one's red. I didn't mean it like that, Sugar Cube. It's just I take my job as your big sister real serious. Which is why I spent all night making this. What is it? Just a little list of helpful reminders. A long Big piece of paper. Put you in the refrigerator. Be sure not to heat it up too much. If it's hot, blow on it to cool it off. And take little sips. If you gulp, you could get hiccups. There is nothing on Don't that paper. Don't worry about me. There is nothing on that paper. There's, there's nothing. For this. <sighs> I guess you are. 
I'm just not so sure I am. But you trust me and believe I'm growing up enough to handle this, right? I could, you know, big, big sisters have to learn right. to okay, then. allow their Good little sisters them, to sister. grow up because they won't be there forever. I, I should know. Yup! Man of many words. Man, man of many words. Uh, that's how I'm gonna say bye for now on. Someone's nervous again. <laughs> Sorry, Big Mac. All right, Big Mac, you had worse. a bit about Apple Bloom. You think she's gonna be okay on her own? Yep. Uh, I just keep on thinking of things I forgot to put on her list. Like, I didn't write down that if she wants to get a spoon out of the drawer, she needs to open the drawer first. Hey, look, listen. <sighs> let me teach you how to open a door. Yep. But I know I'd feel a heap better if I could just check on Apple Bloom one last time. Really? Apple you go ahead and make your delivery. I'm just gonna take a quick peek and then I'll make mine. <laughs> just like, ah, uh, let me just go about my business. Okay. Besides, I can't talk her out of it. <laughs> make sure to pump the bellows to keep the stove warm. Check. Make sure the hats and bowls closet is fully stuffed. <laughs> Check. That explains a lot. That's everything on Apple Jack's list. And now that my chores are done, since there's no one else here, I get to make all the decisions. Like if a I boss. If I want to music, I can. If I want to read a book, I can. If I want to just stand here in the kitchen talking to myself, I can. <laughs> I was wondering when is she going to realize she's only talking to herself? Uh, Applejack? I came back to check on you, and I'm so glad I did. Well... It was kind of your I never fault. I thought about how dangerous things are around here. Thanks, but I'm really gonna be okay. Yeah, you know, I would probably do the exact same thing if I didn't expect I'm a random here, person to run through my house. No way am I leaving my little baby sister home alone all by herself. Duh. I'm not a baby. I can take care of myself. And what about those pies you're supposed to deliver? Pies? Huh. Family's way more important than pies. You know, but who cares about your business and your family and about actually, business and money? This was kind of your fault. I know. I should never have left you alone. But I don't need you looking after me. I'm perfectly capable of staying home alone. Oh, really? that was so close to a title drop. Just look. There's some soup for you in the refrigerator. What was that? Watch me. Whoa! Uh, right, that was already toppled over when... Certain someone barged in. Well, don't worry, Apple Bloom. I'm here now, and I'm not leaving you home alone ever again. I'm sticking right by <laughs> your side, always. The conflict is clinginess of a sister. Apple Bloom. My worst nightmare. Apple Bloom. Applejack's just overreacting a bit. I'm sure she'll snap out of it. Whoa! You need something? I'm right here. Someone took a page out of Pinky's book. Now, but I need you watching over me. I can take care of things myself. Very close to the title job. <laughs> Look. Huh? Hey, who put the pillows on safe this proof rake? of rake. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe someone who really loves her little sister and doesn't want her to get an owie. <laughs> <sighs> Safety. Yeah. Watch me buck these apples on my own without anything bad happening to me. Huh? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Applejack has a lot of time in her hands. Hmm. Training wheels, huh? Training wheels. Training wheels. Perfect. <laughs> Safety. 
Oh, not, not the plastic furniture. <laughs> You've gone and baby-proofed everything. And she's not a baby. Yep. Your big sister let you down once, but I promise it won't ever happen again. But really, I'm fine. I can take care of myself. I don't need you watching over me. Very close to the title drop again. Sweet. I appreciate you trying to make me feel better, but don't worry. I'll <laughs> always be here for you. Always. <laughs> I safetyed your safety, bro. <laughs> Helmetception. And that's the reason I asked y'all to come over quick. Hey, Apple Bloom. You need anything? A snack? A hook massage? Maybe a snack will have a hook massage? Why, that sounds that just sounds really nice. No, thank you! <laughs> okay, well, you can count on me being close by if you need anything. <sighs> you see what I mean? If this keeps up, I'm never gonna be able to do anything without Applejack hovering over me. Mm hmm. Mm. Even so that sounded kind of like the title drop. Pies. Hang on a sec. I got it. What? The pies. I'll sneak out and deliver them. Granny said that they were going to some incredibly hard to reach town. If I can do it alone, that'll show Applejack I don't need some pony watching over me. Just Title drop. Problem. And that's a horrible this idea. Come back and check on you any minute. Wait, Plus, I'd like the what second, second, third time in a row they did this. Oh, and I got an idea for one. Wow. Not only does Apple Bloom have like a hat and hat and bow door, she also has like a tons of bows in her closet in general. Sleeping in bed. Sweetie and I can take turns. That way, when one of us gets tired, the other can take over. Brilliant, huh? <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm saying about the whole get tired and then do it again thing. This is oh song. That was perfect. I don't know which is better. The main six complaining that Pinkie Pie's about to start singing in the very first ep the second episode of of the whole Nightmare Moon thing, or that. That's funny. Or or Rainbow Rainbow Dash saying the uh, ponies randomly bursting out the song. <laughs> Oh, that's perfect. Sweetie, no! You gotta sleep like Apple Bloom! How does she sleep? Like she does everything. With sass! <laughs> that, okay. okay. I guess you must have been so tuckered out you sent your friends home and went to bed. Then again, you are a delicate flower. It's like she's about to get murdered. Sleep tight, Apple Bloom. <laughs> I'll check on you again in a bit. Checking in on you again. Almost five seconds. Congratulations, Applejack. You're very clingy. Need anything now? How about now? Need another blanket? Did I hear a cough? Apple Bloom? Want a glass of water? Do you want to build a snowman? Doesn't have to be a snowman. Yeah. Apple Bloom, Applejack, go away. Okay, <laughs> bye. Taking it on you again. <sighs> Look at you, dozing so peaceful like. Here I am, checking up on you every five seconds. And you're totally fine. Maybe you don't need me fretting over you all the time. <gasps> wow, Apple Bloom will be so glad to hear that. I'm, I'm, <laughs> you say an entire sentence. Usually you say you like half of it, or maybe you just a part of it, and you realize you messed up. But come on, let's go to Lou. She could be lost, cold, hungry, itchy, stuffed up, need to go to the bathroom. Don't worry, we know exactly The last where part she is pretty bad. Yeah, she's making your pie delivery. What? No! Didn't she hear how difficult and dangerous it was? Well, she was actually there for that. I may never see my little sister again. Yes, because she will be lost. Okay. It's not like she'll die or anything. To. Now tell me, did Apple Bloom at least bring flame proof boots? A lion no. tamer's chair? For sure. A no. snake charming flute? No. A hunk of ricotta? <gasps> what? <laughs> Why ricotta? Okay, 
Maybe there's still time to catch her before she gets there. I guess the snake charming leave? flute would be for snake attacks. A chair oh, no. when you get tired, I guess, and ricotta when you get hungry. So there's probably snakes in these woods. But why do fire for fruits? You're in a swamp, Apple Bloom. Do not worry. There's nothing ever dangerous happens in a swamp. Fire Swamp. I love the Princess Bride. Well, now at least I can see. <laughs> you know, you gotta admit, you gotta hand it to Apple Bloom. She is rather brave. <laughs> I killed like tens of you in God of War 3. Oh, you're still Chimera. Cool. Alright, alright. Okay, I think I get, I, I think I get the, the snake. The, the chair, probably for the tiger. You are. This is the only safe spot around here. But why the ricotta? It don't look so safe to me. Why the ricotta? Oh, we just mean from the flames. Yeah, not from us. What was that? Oh, can you guys speak up? I was about to tell our guest how we haven't eaten in days. My sisters and I can never agree on what to eat. Except pie. Oh, pie. Okay, not you. Well, so let's go, okay. Unfortunately, I gotta get these past to a town on the other side of the swamp, so, uh... Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, you don't have to worry about anything anymore. Because we're going to have our apple pie with a side of Billy Filet. I don't know the guy's name, but he's from, uh, the Jungle Book. Those eyes. Now, sisters on three. One. Two. Three. I think that was the most anticlimactic countdown to three I've ever seen. Not the pies. No! Where do you think you're going? Great animational style with the chimera here. Right, fire swamp. Didn't have your fireproof boots on. Sonic the Hedgehog. And Apple Bloom's a lot stronger than she looks. I like that. Props to being an Earth Pony. Oh, there goes Buzz. Where are the pies? They're not back here. This is your fault. You think you've always got to be in charge. <sighs> You're lucky, you know. You've got no idea what it's like to have a sister constantly looking over your shoulder. Well, you see, what happened in this episode is... Let's try listening to me for a change. And I say, if there are no pies, let's settle for the Philly Philly. Any last? Words. Enough S words, please. Apple Bloom, I'm a Apple Jack coming on like a boss. Hey, I thought I was in charge now. No. And that's for the snake. Night night. Chair is for the, the tiger. Lion tamers and whatnot. But, you know, tiger.
<laughs> that didn't help much. Oh. Oh, okay. So the, so the chair was to distract it long enough to get to a tree to do that. Ricotta. Okay. I guess it was just to distract that. Let's go. For some reason. Okay, cool. Are you okay? How would I take in charge? Thanks to you. Now time for the skull. I told you, you need your big sister looking after you. I'm just glad this wasn't a whole lot worse. I mean, sure we lost the cart and all the pies, but at least you're Mm. The cart! And all the pies! You actually got them all the way up here? In the dark? Through the flame geyser swamp? Past that monster? Chimera. Well, we should still call it Chimera since it's well, now a tiger yeah. and not a lion. Wow. Well, that's my Tigera. <laughs> Any pony who can do that on her own, well, she don't need some pony like me babying her. You could have said some pony to watch over you. But why not? <laughs> mm -hmm. This pie's even tastier than my mama's swamp water casserole. I like how his cheeks are completely filled, but he can still talk perfectly. <laughs> Just remember, you fellas wouldn't be enjoying these pies if it weren't for my sister. Right. And my sister. But this don't change the fact that trying to make this delivery on your own was a plumb crazy thing to do. Barry. I know. <laughs> I bet Granny Smith grounds you for a month for sneaking out. And if Big Mac, Granny Smith, and I ever have to be away for the day again, I would totally trust you to stay home and take care of things on your own. I guess I did get a little carried away watching over you. A little too clingy? If you hadn't snuck out like you did, maybe I wouldn't have figured that out. Yes! Now that is the kind of looking out for me I can definitely appreciate. <laughs> so, we're good? Little sister, we're always good. Yes. Good. Go with your sisters. Uh, now... Okay, that was the episode, and we all know the moral now. If you ever wanted to make sure that you're independent between yourself, at least among your family members, always go out on a dangerous journey and make sure you have the pies that they needed to deliver. Unless, you know, then they'll never trust you again. So, disobey. Disobey. <laughs> I'm joking, but this episode was... Actually, I have to say this episode was fantastic. Um... Uh, I guess this is like what you would call it a personal thing um is it for for my long-standing viewers here for my for subscribers that's been with me for a long time you know you know my history when it comes to sisters how I, in fact I have like four four of them and stuff and it, four or five a lot of sisters a lot of sisters, some I remember, some a lot, you know, things, family members, mostly sister. I'm the only guy. I'm the li I I am the youngest, and I have a lot of siblings that are older than me, and they're all female. So let me just say that. And I've been through a lot with my sisters, and my sisters have been through a lot with each other. And when I did when I did the reaction between uh, Sweetie Belle and uh, Rarity when they did each other, how I how apparently I got again I got a lot of flack for it, but I didn't like how they were fighting with each other. I hate it when siblings fight because you have to stay together. And I learned this from my sisters. And so any show, TV, reality series, comedy, anything. Talks about how sisters don't get along with each other. I kind of get that way. So having this episode where sisters stay together and having... and No, not sisters stay together. Having sisters, even in my standards, know when you're ready to take independence upon yourself. 
Because this does remind me, and almost, all, not like in exactly happened of how it, how it happened in the episode, but this does remind me of when I had to be home alone for one, for at least one, not even a day, one night, and it wasn't even going to be the full entire night, but I was still going to be home alone. My sisters couldn't, could, could not leave me home alone like that. Even when they even kind of agreed that when they're going out, they're, they're fine with me being there, but then they started to think about it while they were going. All the situations I could get into and probably won't be able to handle by myself getting into fact of all my age. This is what sisters do. This is what siblings do. I love it. I love how they implement that. I just hated how they executed the whole Apple Bloom going out into the fire swamp, facing it with the dangers of a chimera, and she pretty much kind of gets a, a slap on her wrist. Yeah, she's going to be grounded, and yes, Big Mac's probably going to do something, but really? <laughs> It's the best you can give when it comes to a scolding. Like, when I ran away from home, I got I got a worse thing than that. So, alright. And I think this kind of proves, at least to me, that Apple Bloom is one of the most bravest fillies I've ever seen. You got Apple Bloom with, like, a ton of pies. And she's dragging them out through a giant fire swamp. For all of you who can go into a fire swamp and do that, congratulations, you can do that. But, can you just look at your map, see that you're lost, have the fire gush out and destroy your map, and just be like, well, at least now I can see, <laughs> trying to make the best out of the situation, and not even trying to be nervous about it. And even when the Chimera showed up, she had this, like, she, she felt nervous, but it, she could have been more nervous from being inches away from death. <laughs> but... Okay, and she she's one of the bravest Phillies I've seen, at least at least in, in yeah in Philly standards. So it's good. This episode was was great to me because you know having sisters can do that to you when you have sister episodes like this, and it's good. It's good. So yeah, Applejack being too clingy is perfectly fine. Siblings, family. You, you, I, I don't even know. I remember it. Yeah, I I even been that like that with like uh, Giselle or or newfound uh, Shelby. I'll be like that too. I can't I can't leave her by herself. And she, even though there's like people all all around the building, I'm I'm like that. Got to keep a close eye on them. So and I know they're pretty much young, but that's pretty much it. Even if even if they were older, like say 21, you, you still want to keep an eye on them. See they're making the right choices in life. It's kind of like a family deal. So this episode to me was phenomenally fantastical. And I would like to watch it again sometime. And, you know, great development between Apple Bloom and even Applejack. Showing that even though she makes a decision about a family member thinking that she believes, she she still has that little thing, in the, that little voice in the back of her head saying, maybe this isn't the right time. But at the end of the episode, she realizes that Apple Bloom has matured to a certain age. So, for me... Uh, the the day the first time I was ever left the home left home by myself I was at least 13 maybe 14 years old so I'm just gonna now look at Apple Bloom as a 14 year old yeah I can do that besides you know what? you know of course of course you're girls they're in a high school right so and in the CMC are in high school they're probably like what eighth graders if that's true then they're probably around the age of like 15 or something even younger than that maybe huh Good. Okay. So I can I can go with that. Sure. That's good. That's a good age for me. So this is Do You Want a Bit of Brony, and I'm gonna get to the next episodes uh, tomorrow, and I'm gonna have to prep myself up for a a reaction that <laughs> I kind of don't want to get into. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys then.